For this episode, I'm going to be talking about how to kill mold with white vinegar. White vinegar is a mild acid, which means that it can kill 85% of green mold and keep it from coming back, hopefully, in the future. So, if you live on a boat or in a, even in a home in a moist climate, which this year has definitely been, mold is going to be a big problem and especially here in the Azores, it's really intense. So in order to deal with the green mold that's been growing all over the boat so far, I've been using Lysol wipes, but that doesn't really kill it as much as just wipe off what we can see. I wanna kill even what we can't see because it's a matter of health and I've been having these upper respiratory problems, so I just wanna kill it once and for all. Today I'm going to be working in the V-Birth because that is where we spend most of our time in the boat, sleeping and breathing in all the green mold. Okay, first things first, you got to put your white vinegar in a spray bottle. So, um... They don't actually sell white vinegar here, but luckily we had some already on the boat because we use it for our composting head. And this, I just got the cheapest spray bottle I could find in the supermarket, emptied it out, cleaned it out, and filled it with the white vinegar. So you put it in your spray bottle, spray it on the problem areas, and then leave it for an hour. It's been an hour and I've let the vinegar set on the wood. So since our interior wood is tongue and groove with beveled edges, uh, in order to get kind of in between the cracks, I'm gonna first use this scrub brush to get all the mold off that has been killed by the vinegar. And then I'm going to just wipe it clean with a damp paper towel. For the record, this toilet bowl cleaner has never been used in a toilet. The last step is to dampen a paper towel, preferably with warm water, but we don't have warm water, um, and then just wipe the surface clean with, with that damp paper towel. And then you should be done, and it shouldn't smell too bad, and actually, it, unless I'm nose blind to it, it doesn't smell too bad. As an update, about a month later, the mold where we put the vinegar before has not returned. So that method definitely works and my respiratory problems have cleared up. So maybe it has something to do with the fact that we killed all the mold with that white vinegar. The other thing we've been doing is trying to dry out the boat and we don't have a dehumidifier or the ability to even use one because we have no electricity run to the boat right now. But we do have this diesel fireplace and it's great for both heating the boat and drying it out. And so we've been lighting this every day um, for even just a little bit of time just to keep the interior of the boat a little drier. And as a result of both these things, the mold has not returned. Okay, that'll grow brighter and hotter momentarily, and uh, the boat will dry. So that is one of the many ways that have been recommended to us to rid a boat or even a house of mold. Hopefully that helped you out a little bit. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And if you'd like to follow our journey in real time on a map, receive postcards from our ports of call and messages directly to the boat, you can go ahead and become a patron using the link in the description down below.